Hey, what's up? It is Whistle, and we are back again in Timberborn. In the last episode, we got civilization started a little bit. Um, we got some water pumps, we got a nice little farm going, and we started working on our new little housing area. Um, so we are going to go ahead and continue, and uh, we will expand on the city. Uh, so the dry season should be coming up in a few days for us um, so I'm, I might want to look into getting some more of these once these houses are done depending on how everything winds up looking you can see we did lose one to old age so we're down to 10 but as soon as these houses get built we should wind up getting some more we just don't want to drop too too far below that uh, for reasons of, you know, he's not getting filled with beavers and we won't wind up having any water or, you know, all that wonderful, wonderful stuff. Uh, so we still have four homeless beavers, but this should be about a quarter way done with this house here. And that should get all but one of our beavers at least living inside. Uh, for today, I'm going to try to get some planks going in this episode so for that we will need a little bit of power um, which we will get to in a little bit but for right now I'm gonna put down oops an inventor uh, where can you live you can go up in this corner and out of the way um, so we'll build a path straight up that way and over it's not the most efficient but this way we have all this building space available and we can always move stuff later if we need to um, and I'll probably put some the uh, the lumber mill over here to make the planks because I would use a water wheel which would require the river um, so it would be this right here but I don't want to waste any of this green space that we have on something that is not going to be either wood or food for right now Later on in the game, we can go to more hydropower, or there are also windmills um, down here that we can unlock. That will just kind of do power automatically, but for right now, we do have this little hamster wheel looking thing. Um, where a beaver will jump inside of that and run, and we should be able to get one of those up and running as soon as we get enough wood. And then it connects directly into this... Uh, lumber mill here if there was anything a little further out we would need to start getting these power shafts in these power shafts are basically just electrical cables effectively um, they transfer power from one building to another um, but we can put stuff right on top like this and it will connect and if we ever put another powered building that is touching say a lumber mill um, the power will transfer through that. So we won't need to run a whole bunch of cables everywhere, just wherever there is some empty space. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of these stumps. I'm not sure if it actually winds up um, slowing down the speed of new trees coming in, but it's something I like to do just to kind of keep the ground nice and clean. And uh, again, it may or may not speed up the process of new saplings being created. So we'll do that up here as well. Get all of these and just be careful not to get any of the other little things going as well. It looks like I actually missed a couple. Sorry about that little cut there. I realized uh, the audio of the game was not recording, so I do apologize for that. But um anyway yeah we got all of these that should wind up getting cleared out throughout the day by our builders um kind of grow all of that we do currently have 12 um 12 open spots for housing um 11 are filled uh so we do have room for one more child um and this is just about done as well so we should be getting a lot of babies soon which is wonderful uh it does mean more food and water consumption but these carrots here are starting to grow back in so food wise we should be good for the dry season um with this farmhouse there are a couple different things you can prioritize so you can either prioritize um 
them to harvest or them to plant. I prefer to have them on planting, especially when it's not the only one, because what's going to happen, all of these are just kind of growing super, super quick here, but then there's all this back here that's just going to get left behind. So if you set them to plant, they'll harvest the new one and they'll plant a new one immediately, um, and it will kind of help to spread out, um, spread out the growth of the carrots a little bit, so that way we're not waiting for a few days in between, uh, you know, full growths. Um, and then you can also prioritize different forms of crops, but for right now I only have carrots, so I am not too worried about that. And then this is good. We still have plenty of storage available in there. And it looks like the next thing we're going to start building is the inventor's hut. So we'll be able to get a beaver in there in a little bit and start getting some science together. Uh, let me see... We're full on water. We have 120 water. Again, the dry season should be coming up, so I might want to build a couple more of these. Set those to a high priority. Um, so those wind up getting done before the inventor does, just because I want to make sure that I have enough water to get through the dry season. The first couple are always the scariest. Um, just making sure you have enough, enough water and food should anything wind up happening. Um, but after usually about the third or the fourth one, you're pretty set on on most of your resources. So it, we just got a warning up here for a new dry season, so that's coming in three days. Um, so we have plenty of time to prepare. Um, and what's going to happen, this is our source block here. So this uh, brings water in. Um, and dry season there will be no water coming through that so we have the dam over here that once again is just gonna hold all of this water back we'll be able to use it I'll probably shut down one of these water pumps just so we don't go totally dry um, and there is this little river behind this cliff uh, that you're gonna see is gonna totally dry up all of this is gonna turn to this color this nice grayish brown um, and everything on there is gonna start to die until the next wet season. We are a little slower on wood than I would like to be uh, for building this because once we can get some planks going we can get a um, what's it called a forester and the forester once again is gonna let us just be able to plant some trees so effectively infinite wood so I'm actually going to once these two are built, I'm gonna prior, I'm gonna open up a little more cutting space, probably somewhere around here, uh, just so that way we can get a little bit of wood a little bit quicker, so we can start working on planks and then start working on the forester. Because as you can see, we have these two beavers here. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce either of their names, but uh, they're just chilling there and not really working, which we don't want to do. We want everybody to be working as much as possible so they're not wasting food or water especially so early in the game um, when we have extra housing so right here um, it will set so that way it'll try the game will try its best to have you know two beavers out of three that are adults so that way they can have babies if there are extras um, so I mean that one was just born but could become a bit older and then there's three adults living in the same home uh, they obviously cannot make babies because there's no space for them but little babies can be made if there's an extra space so resource wise we are running a bit low on food but once again we should be good we have all of these carrots here and we only have 11 beavers so we should be able to get through the dry season I'm going to expand this a smidge. Where, why are we not working? There we go. We got a couple extra trees cut in here. And then I think I'm even going to make a little checker pattern on these trees just so that way they can start getting chopped down and grow back a bit quicker um, without affecting too many things because they're going to be able to grow to adjacent spots there we go 
don't need it to be perfect. I'm trying to hurry things along a little bit. Okay, so that is done. This one is almost done, so we're gonna set these to a high priority. And hopefully by the time both of these are done being built, we should be able to have enough beavers to occupy them and then start making planks. Um, I will have to put a path to both of these real quick. So there's that, and there's that one. Um, and in the first video, I mentioned this little square, this blue outline here. So this is the area that our beavers can reach. Um, so I'm actually looking at this, gonna put a path temporarily right down there. So that way these lumberjacks can wind up going and getting all of these trees that I marked for them to cut. Um, and this guy is good for all of that. Um, anything outside of this blue square, so for example, if there were some berries over here, this gatherer would not be able to get them because just walking too far, and who wants to do that? So we're gonna speed things up a little bit, um, go to 3x. Once, uh, once we get a bit later, I might slow the game down a little bit just to stay on top of things, but not much is really happening too quickly right now because we're just waiting on wood for the most part and for all of this to wind up getting cleaned up. Once we get a forester, I'm going to probably put it somewhere in this area because I don't want to waste any of this greenery in order for us to grow plants or grow trees rather. Uh, but we do have all of this stuff down here that we can grow trees. And there are three different kinds of trees in the game that you can grow, in addition to being able to plant blueberries. So you can do a birch, uh, which takes nine days to grow and only gives us one log. We have the pine, which takes 12 days but gives us two logs. And then the one I'm going to primarily be planting is the maple, which takes 24 days to grow, um, but it does give us eight logs. Um, so that is the most efficient one long term. Um, immediately upon placing the uh, the lumberjack, I may wind up starting with either the birch or the pine, just to get a little bit of extra wood a little bit quicker until the maples start growing, and then we will uh, go on that. But as you can see up here, the drought has started, so I think that is probably a good spot to leave off for today. Um, and in the next one, we will make it through the drought and continue on, and hopefully yeah, this is almost done up here. This should be done by the end of the drought, certainly. Um, so we should be able to get some planks. Um, and then we can carry on with our progress. I know I probably didn't do all that much besides ramble in this video, but uh, once again, early, early, early game is a little tedious, a little monotonous in terms of what you can actually do in any given day. So with that being said, Thank you so much for watching and uh, have a wonderful day.